Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial video on WordPress administration. Now here we are in the dashboard and what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and show you how to install, how to search for, install, uh, and remove plugins. So first let's go ahead and go make sure we're in our dashboard and then go down the left menu to where you see plugins and that's where we're at right now and what you'll notice is if you have any plugins in there already which you should have at least one it'll be sort of a baby blue background uh, and that indicates that it's activated and installed also if the word deactivate shows up that also indicates that it's activated. Now let me just show you what it looks like uh, when something's not activated. As you can see, it's an even lighter blue color, which I believe is referred to as Alice Blue in the HTML color codes. We'll go ahead and activate our Contact Form 7 again. That was just to show you the difference and how you can know if, if it's activated or not. We're going to search for a plugin and add a new plugin um, called WordPress Add Widget. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to the top where it says Plugins and I'm going to click on Add New. And then in here I'm going to search for WordPress Add Widget. Oh, I spelled WordPress wrong. Let's see if it gets it anyway. Nope. So we got to spell it pretty much exactly correct. And there it is, number two in the middle. So I'll click on Install Now. And that's part one. Once you've installed it, it's still not going to do anything until you click Activate. So let's go ahead and click to Activate. And after it activates, it'll bring you back to the plugins page. Now, if we go down to the bottom, we'll see WordPress Add Widget has been installed. It's active, and it's version 2.16. And you know it's the right one because it's by Broad Street Express. Okay, so that's how to install a plugin. Now I'll show you how to uninstall a plugin. So let's say we didn't. We decided, after all, we want to use a different plugin. We don't want this WordPress ad widget in there. So what we're going to do is we're going to click Deactivate. That's step one. And then Delete. And then it'll say, are you sure you want to delete? Because you're going to delete it and any data. Well, this doesn't have any data that we care about. So we'll click OK. And bada bing, bada boom. Thank you for joining me for another short video on WordPress backend administration. Uh, remember to like and subscribe if you like this video, and have a great day.